Hey people, Drake here again, bringing you another Minecraft video, and today I'm kind of starting something new. Um, I'm calling it Redstone for Hire. So basically, you guys drop comments anywhere in my videos. If you want something built, you need something fixed, something worked on, etc., etc. If I like it, I'll start a video and I'll make a video on it, post it on YouTube for you to see. Um, so this suggestion came from one of my viewers on my dropper elevator tutorial. He wanted an item sorter that could stack up and have indicator lights to indicate if the chests were full or not. Um, I don't think he can quite get the redstone working, so I figured I'd make a video and post it. So this is what I come up with, basically. Um, as you can see, you got rows of chests going up with light indicators on each one. And uh, just for the tutorial to keep things a little bit short, I just have four sorters, and then any other items will just get dropped in this miscellaneous chest here. So I got white wool orange wool, magenta wool, and blue wool. So we'll just go ahead and drop them in this little water stream up here to show you how it works. So I'll drop in a stack of white, stack of orange, stack of magenta, stack of light blue, I guess it is. And then I'll just throw in some random items too to show you that it will filter those out and it ain't just picking up items I throw in. So all the miscellaneous items will end up over here in this chest just because they're not being sorted by this system. And as you can see, they're all ending up in there. And you can see the lights are turning on down here, which means our items are being filtered into each one of the indicated chests. There's your 32, there's your 32, 32, and 32. Alright, I'll just go ahead and show you how to build it. I'll try to break it up into segments to make it a little bit easier to understand, too. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to build is the actual item sorter itself. Now, usually people will have hoppers going in a row like this above the sorter so that items will go from one to the other. Now, you can do that. It will work just the same and it will actually be faster. But what I did in the video was use a water stream just because it saves a lot of resources. Because, let's face it, the hoppers are kind of expensive in survival. So, I used a water stream, but if you have those hoppers on top, you just have to remember to place them on top of what I'm showing you how to build right now. So, that being said, we'll just go ahead and build it. So, I'm going to come up here a few just to give you an indicator. You want to take your hopper and place it facing outward like this. And then place two blocks like this, one jutting down, one in the lower, and then one here on the side. And then here in the bottom, I'm going to place two hoppers coming out if I can place them correctly. And it's worth mentioning too, this design is for the individual who posted the comment. So this could be a little more compact, but I'm making it to his specifications uh, for what he needed. So that being said, there might be a couple things that you think could be compacted down more, and they could. But for his system, he wanted it this way. So you're going to place a comparator here, place two pieces of redstone dust, a redstone repeater going underneath, and a redstone torch just like this. And now, what this is going to do is this is going to act like your sorter here. So you're going to take 21 of any kind of random item that you would never put in this system. And I could recommend, you know, naming something because it would make things easier. You don't ever have to worry about that named item entering your system, but you can do whatever you want. So take 21 of whatever random item and then the item that you want sorted. Um, so for this, I'll use a lapis lazuli block. Why not? And then open up this hopper. Take your 21 items and drag them across just like this, so it should be 5, 5, 5, and 6. And then take your item that you want to be sorted and place it in the first slot. And it's very important that it is in the first slot. It has to be that way, otherwise it will not work. So now, anytime that item comes over this hopper, it will be filtered through this hopper set up here and be deposited into this hopper here, which will go into the rest of the system that I'll show you how to build right now. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is place a chest in front of this last hopper here that's going into it. And then underneath this is going to be a hopper facing straight downward, and that'll go into the rest of the system, which is this over here. And this is basically just a repeating pattern that goes down as much as you want. Um, for the tutorial, you can see I have this stacked up to three, but it's worth mentioning, if you have the resources, this can be infinite. It doesn't matter. You could have a hundred of these things stacked up if you want to. But that being said, I'll just go ahead and show you and highlight how to build it. So as you can see here, this chest is completely full of yellow wool, and the indicator light is on. If the second indicator light is on, that means there's items up here too. So as you can see, there is some yellow wool up here. So that's how this system works. Um, when one of the chests is full, then it will start filling up the second one of the system. So I'll go ahead and show you how to build this one little segment, since that is where this system is leading into now. Probably should set the time, because it looks like it's getting a little bit dark out. So you're going to take your chest and place it just like this. Place a comparator coming off of it with a redstone dust, a block, a torch, a repeater coming off of that torch, a block, a redstone torch, and then your redstone lamp. 
and as you can see, it is in the off position. But now, if you place an item inside, I'll just throw in a comparator, the light will come on. And that's basically the concept we're working. You're just stacking that over and over and over again. And it took a little bit of time to come up with this, just so there was no interfering wires, but I uh, eventually got down to a model. Um, so that's pretty much it. You just keep staggering these over and over, and these hoppers will lead into it. So if you go to create a secondary level, for instance, you'd place your hopper, your double chest, if I can actually learn to fly, like this, and then this entire pattern would just be repeated. So I'll go ahead and show you that way you understand what I'm saying. So you'd place your comparator, which I threw in that chest. Ha 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 ha. Place your comparator, your redstone dust, your redstone torch, your repeater, your block, your redstone torch, and then your redstone lamp. And then obviously you can fill in those gaps so it isn't an eyesore like I've done over here. It's just important that you use stairs or an invisible block in between these two chests. That way you can actually open the chest and there's no interference. Okay, so that's pretty much it in terms of the design. You just keep repeating this over and over. You can just place them side by side. None of the wires will interfere. The only thing worth mentioning at this point is whenever you reach the top of your design, the wire will have to be changed for the last light. And as you can see over here, I have the same pattern staggered over and over, except for this top level to activate the light. You'll notice that it's different, and the reason be of that is because of this hopper sorter system, because the wires will interfere up there. So because of that, you have to make a little bit different of a system at the top, and it can only work at the top because otherwise it will not stack. So whenever you reach the top of your things, say you have your chest right here, you're just going to take your comparator, place a block in front of it, with a redstone torch, a block on top, a block on the side with a redstone dust, and then your redstone torch, and then place your lamp as you would. And now, obviously, as you can notice, this isn't going to stack right. Um, so that's why you're using this to stack it up, and then this will go at the top. And I will show you how that looks right now. Okay, so we're just going to put these two parts together to kind of give you an idea about what it looks like. So as you may notice, if I stack that on here, it will actually be my exact design over there I did in the demonstration. So I'll just go ahead and build it and then show you how it should look. And like I said, this can be infinite. It does not have to be three high. It can only be one high if you wanted to. But whatever your choice is, it will just have to be this towards the top portion. So place your chest with your comparator coming outwards. Your block just like this with a redstone torch block on top of that torch, block to the side with a redstone dust, a torch on the side of there, with your glow, I'm sorry, not glowstone, redstone lamp on the side. And as you can see, the design is uniform. It's just important that you have this towards the top. And I will actually implement this system too to show you how it all looks together. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and link up this system with this system, which will complete the entire design. So come to the top chest that you have, however many you have stacked, place your hopper, and then place your chest. And I probably could have just grabbed one right there, but I feel like flying. So then place it here, place your two hoppers going into the chest like this, place a hopper facing this way, and then do the exact system we just built down there. Your comparator, block coming outwards, block shutting down and then block there. Then place your two pieces of redstone dust, your repeater, and your redstone torch. Okay, and now this system's just complete. We just have to throw in the filler items and the item you want sorted. So I want a lapis lazuli block to go into here, and I'm going to use pink wool as the filler. So let's just get 21 items. That should be good. Okay, come to the top hopper here. Place in your 21 items just like that, and then the item to be sorted in the first slot. So now that will sort Lapis Lazuli blocks. So we'll go ahead and just give it a test run, why not? Um, we'll grab seven. And remember too, you need to place one item here in the first slot of this bottom hopper, because one item will always get stuck in there. So if you put one item in there, then none will get stuck and all of your items go down to the bottom chest. So I'll just go ahead and open this up and throw them in. And as you can see, they're all being filtered through. The light has now come on down here to indicate there is items in the chest. And there's your six lapis. And that's pretty much the design. It's just a, um, I don't even know the dimensions, two by something. We'll just go with that. And then you just take this design and you just repeat it over and over just like I've done here, filtering out different items. And like I said at the beginning of the video too, if you want to, you can place hoppers going in this direction just like this, going over top of all the hoppers if that's what you choose. But to save some resources, I really recommend using a water stream maybe with some ice in between. It would save you a lot of resources because hoppers are expensive. But that is your choice. Whatever you decide to do is up to you. 
Okay, that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please remember to drop a like down below. If you really liked it, press that subscribe button, favorite, share, all that good stuff. Thank you guys, and please, tell me how you like this whole Redstone for Hire idea. I'd really like to get a little series started with it, so let me know in the comments. Bye!